Welcome to another edition of Don't Waste Your Time. This video may not be for you. My name is Purcell and this season, season six, I'm featuring cars and cool people. Last week you had a chance to meet Margie with her outstanding Model 3 plastic dip 10 coat car color shift. Very beautiful. This time around I'm going to introduce you to Delegate David Frazier Hildego. He serves on the Environment and Transportation Committee for the House of Delegates in the state of Maryland in the Legislative District 15 in Montgomery County. And also he has gotten a lot of bills passed through which he's going to explain. He also will talk about EVs and their tax incentives along with power walls. Now, I know most of you do not live in Maryland, and for those who do live in Maryland, this may be interesting for you. And in case you don't live in Maryland, maybe you can glean some information on what this state is doing as far as EVs and incentives. Coming up next, Mr. David Frazier Hildego on another edition of Don't Waste Your Time. This video may not be for you. So uh, I'm here in Poolsville at the uh, National Drive Electric Week, and this is also uh, the city of Poolsville's well, Electric Day, uh, what is it? What do they call it? Poolsville Day. Poolsville Day. Yeah. So I have the pleasure of talking to State Representative... Maryland State Delegate, David Frazier. Thank Hidalgo. you for bailing me out. Thank you for bailing me out. He's a Tesla owner. I he am. has the same car that I have. Uh, 2015, 2015? 2015, 90 Okay. Yeah. Same color, too. Same awesome color. color. Awesome color. Beautiful color. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> So we were just talking about the power walls. Right. So tell us about the power wall as far as the incentives for the state of Maryland. So in the state of Maryland, we passed a, a bill about two years ago that gives 30% off up to a certain amount. I don't remember the exact amount is. So if you get a power wall or several power walls, um, you can get 30% off of that and a rebate back from the, from okay. the state. They'll actually write you a, write you a check. Okay. So, um, and it's also for commercial as well as residential. Right. So. I really need to thank you because you also wrote the bill for the state incentives yeah. for electric cars. Yeah, I've had that bill for several years now. Yeah. So tell us about that. I know the money is gone, but... The uh, money is gone. So <laughs> Maryland signed on with the state of California for the EVIC or the electric vehicle ZEV mandate, zero emission vehicle mandate. Okay. So Maryland is on the hook for 300,000 300, registered uh, electric vehicles by 2025. Right now we're at about 20,000. Okay. And we have electric vehicle tax credits, incentives, or rebates that we put out every year or every year or two. Last year we had the most, which was $6 million. Right. Before we even got out of session, all that money was accounted for. So I'm putting in a bill again for the 2020 session and I'm gonna try and get more like $12 million. And we probably need north of $20 million to really make it so. But, um, but yeah, so every year we're just trying to get more and more EVs on the road here in the state of Maryland. We're doing, we're doing great. If we keep doubling year over year, we'll get to that 300,000 mark. But I thought for like the Model S's, for example, they were capped. Like the first 100,000 or 20,000, whatever 70,000. 70,000 So the, there was an MSRP cap of $70,000. That was in the 2017 bill. Right. The 2019 bill we just passed was 72,500. Okay. And I haven't figured out yet, uh, you know, what the committee and what the governor will bear for, uh, for 2020. Okay, so even if you buy a brand new Tesla next year and if you fit that cap, you can still get a state uh, incentive. Yeah, it's a, it'll, it'll be a rebate. It'll be, um, in the past, it's 3000 It'll probably be 3000 again this year. We might right. drop it to like 2500 just to spread the money out a little more to get more cars on the road. Right. Um, but yeah, it's a 3000 You'll get a rebate check. So you'll actually get a check in the mail. You buy anything under 72500 depending on what the new bill is, the last bill, 72500 then um, you fill out all your paperwork, send it to the state, and you'll get a check for three grand, which that is huge. Awesome. Now, the money runs out fast, folks, so right. if you are going to get one, um, and, and you live in the state of Maryland, research it. Um, right. Go to the Department of Transportation, I think is who manages it. Go to their website, make sure you, you do it and get your paperwork in, otherwise you'll be on a waiting list and it might be six, eight months before you get yours. Okay, so finally, you have two power walls. I do have two power walls. Wow, so how's that working for you? They're awesome. So all my neighbors um, ended up getting uh, propane okay. backup generators. I live in Boyd's and they got propane backup generators and we built all our houses and our development. Right. And I didn't want to do that. I, I couldn't afford it and I thought it was bad. I didn't want to burn fossil fuel. So, you know, 10 years, 12 years later, two power walls, solar on the roof, charging station in my garage, get a $6 bill every month. <laughs> oh my God, that's Tell awesome. Tell Medicine, six bucks, so that's far anyway. awesome. So far, okay, anyway. so I told you I'm getting my power wall, so hopefully um, I'll be singing the praises this time next year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's exciting. Thank that's you exciting. so much. Thank you Thank for your you. time. Thank you, All right. Thank you.